Hello, RFPLE! This is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round one for Group D. And yes, we got some exciting matches up for you people here. Starting us off with Ultima Dino Queen going up against Gecko, Elfie Gossy taking on Gypsy Danger, and then the Champions team going up against the Thunderstorm. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is Ultima Dino Queen going up against Gecko. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Ultima Dino Queen, we have a Eucharaptor. Ultima Dino Queen seems to always seem always seems to get to the semi-finals, but no 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 further. Looking to go one better this time around with that Yuta Raptor, which seems to be a staple in her team. However, in the blue corner for our for our pal Gecko, we have a Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor, well, it's only good when I use it. When everyone else uses it, it's okay, it's still good, but when I use it, it gets a, it gets a power buff. <laughs> uh, yeah, this Mega Raptor is more of the attacking variety. This will be an intriguing match because when I did my tier list, I basically said that Mega Raptor was just the better Uteraptor. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Ooh, the Uteraptor gets off the opening crit deal. Decent damage dealt. I believe what was that triggered? Mayfly. Oh, that's another time. Good start from Ultima Dino Queen, this. Mm, but the Mega Raptor gets off the crit. Oh, my, <laughs> my throat's getting a bit dry because I've been recording tournament matches for about an hour and a half. Sure, gotta wet my wish up. And look at that Mega Raptor give it, taking the lead. Ooh, but it's a banana surprise coming from the Eucharactor. An interesting choice there by Ultimate Dino Queen, because usually she just picks Tiebreaker or Light Recover. Trying something different, I see. Oh, oh, that's another tie. This has been a tight matchup so far. Ultimate Dino Queen does have a narrow lead and has taken down the Mega Raptor. So, it's Eutoraptor who has the lead for ultimate. Here it's an interesting dinosaur. As for Gecko's second dino, we have an Alpha Gorgosaurus. And I don't remember it having that yellow streak on its head. Wait, did it always have that? But anyway, this Alpha Gorgosaurus does have a death fire, and I fully expect it to get triggered. Yeah, this is a definite wild card. And I can't wait to see what it can do. Well, it's getting hit, but it does have the type advantage, so not much damage is dealt. Oh, that's a tie. Gecko really needs to take out this Uteraptor. And I think, yep, he has. The Gorgosaurus did take some damage, though. So Ultimate Dino Queen still has that lead. Alright, as for a second Dino, we have an Anatta Titan. The Anatta Titan here. I believe it's Ty Recovery type. Or grass moves. We'll have to watch out for that Death Fire from the Gorgosaurus. The Death Fire has the power to change the outcome of this match. So yes, it's, I feel like if Queen can get rid of this Gorgosaurus without losing Anatta Titan, I think she will win this match. If not, then I think Gecko out can win. Ooh, Gecko getting off the hit. There's the tie bomb. Yep, there's the tie bomb. Ties will favour the Gorgo now. Ooh, but the Anatta Titan gets off a metal win. Yeah, it's metal win. <laughs> slice, slice. I think Deathfire is going to get triggered yet. Oh, it doesn't. Wow! Wow, I am genuinely surprised. Wow. Like, that could be costly. That could, that could basically swing this match Ultimate Dino Queen's way. Wow, I did I did not expect that. Like, I expected Deathfire to get triggered there, and had it been triggered, the Anato Titan would have died. How costly could that be for Gecko? Well, not costly so far, because the Gorgosaurus is striking back, despite not getting off the death fire. Ooh, getting some poison there. 
This Alpha Gorgosaurus is look pretty, pretty good. And look at this, a tie will pretty much level things up. However, a tie is not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is the Anata Titan is going to get off a metal ring, and all those tie bombs, I think, are going to go to waste. So the Medino Queen still has the lead, but Gecko is still in it to win it. Alright, as for Gecko's third dino, we have a Patagosaurus. Actually, yeah, looking at, the, looking at it now, had the death fire been triggered, based on the fact that I think Gecko got off another two pets, I think Gecko would, would win this match. Because this thing has a type advantage over Queen's third dino. So yeah, I would pretty much say that Gecko would have won, would win this matchup, and might have won it already. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that's not good for Gecko though. The Anata Titan getting the hit. Yeah, and the tie bombs have gone. Okay, that's a tie. Oh no, that's not good for Gecko either. I think Ultimate Dino Queen is going to win this match. Ooh, what have we got here? A Nature's Blessing. Can the Queen secure the bonus point? Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh. And it's a recovery, so Patagosaurus is going to gain back a ton of its health and take out the United Titan. What's, what's this going for the... Ah, oh, Gecko not out of it yet. However, here's the ace of Queen's team, the Omega Eokarkiria. And as I said, had that Deathfire been triggered... Well, Moloch got... No, not Moloch. Again, confused with the matchups. <laughs> had the Deathfire been triggered, Gecko would have got that Deathfire off because he got the next hit, so... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that that was is the tur has been the turning point. But really, Crow, go away. But I tell you what, Gecko's not done yet, and he does have a tight advantage over this Eo area, so he might still win this match. Oh, that's a tie. Bar will fill up, however. And that's another tie. Oh, another tie. And, and another tie. <laughs> I think we might get to see Omega armor at this rate. Oh, there's the tie recovery effect. Oh, the Eogokiri has got it off. The burning dash to finish off the Pagasaurus. I gotta give it a valiant, valiant effort from Gecko, but Ultimate Dino Queen just getting that win. However, Gecko will get a losing bonus point because the Eokark's health was below half, but I have to say, Gecko was really unlucky there. Did not get the Death Fire trigger. That was really unlucky. Like, and as I said, had that Death Fire been triggered, Gecko got the next hit, so he would have got the death fire off. And based on the HP of the Eokark, Gecko would have won that match if he got off death fire. But because the death fire didn't get triggered, that gave Ultima Dino Queen the opening she needed to win this matchup. But yeah, enough about that. Let's move on to our second matchup, which uh, I'm really looking forward to because we're seeing LP Gauzy taking on Gypsy Danger. Alrighty then, in the red corner for our gauzy man. It's, well, I think we all know who it is. It's the Terry. Yep, no surprise he's used Terry, to be honest. Although, originally, he did want the Dino Tech to win, but I, I said no because he had three, would have had three goals. So, you, so we used the normal one instead, but the normal Terry is just as powerful because it is super attack type, I think. Well, I hope it's super, the super attack type one. Well, it should be. And it will have the type advantage over this Rugop, so Gypsy Danger will have to watch his tail here. Although, this Rugop does pack a powerful crit. So yeah, this is going to be an intriguing matchup. Two tournament debutants going at it. I'm happy to see Rugops in the top. Someone used Rugops in this one. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, 
I, there's so many wind dinosaurs I'd love to use, but I'm reluctant to use them because obviously I'd have Mega Raptor in the team. Oh, it's a Sonic Blast! The Rugops does have that Sonic Blast, as Terry does have the Eruption. But it's a Sonic Blast that gets triggered instead. Boosh! Good start there from Gypsy Danger. Not so good from Terry. Ooh, but Terry gets a hit off on the Rugops. Yeah, look at that. Decent amount of damage dealt. Another hit coming from Terry. Gozzy off to a good start here. The Rugops not in the best of shapes. And this should finish off the Rugops. Okay, yeah, I, I've entered the wrong code for Terry. It's supposed to be super attack type, but... I think it's reform type instead. Oh well, doesn't matter. As for Gypsy Danger's second dino, we have an Ablosaurus. This Ablosaurus, I suspect, will put up more of a fight against Terry than the Wukops did. And I should remind people that this Terry does have Deathfire, so it's going to be a major threat to Gypsy Danger here. Oh, that's another tie. I'd say the ties do favour Terry because of the heat eruption. And because Gozzy does have the lead. Terry doing really good, really good. I actually wanted to use Terry. I was actually going to use Terry in my team. Of course, my moveset would have been completely different. I would have had Technique Boost, Volcano Burst and Dino Stuff. That probably would have been my moveset or something like that. Oh, the Ablosaurus finally getting a hit on Terry. Not much damage dealt though. And the death fire not getting triggered. I think that I think that's a missed chance here from Gozzy to get off a death fire. And yeah, he would have. Because Terry got the next hit, so. Chance missed it to kill the able of swords. Another tie. And another tie. Able of Source is gone. Terry hanging on by a thread as Gozzy has a 2-0 lead. Okay, as for Gypsy Danger's third dino, we have an Ampelosaurus, and this will pretty much mark the end of Terry here, because it does have a type advantage. And it will have the type advantage over Gozzy's second dino, which is also a fire dinosaur, so Gypsy Danger, not out of it yet. And yep, there's that hit, just to chip away at that last chunk of health from Terry. Alrighty then, as for Gozzy's second dino, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Again, I'm not too surprised he's picked this guy. And yes, <laughs> trying to get an Alpha move out of him was a pain in the arse, because he didn't know what, it, what I meant by Alpha move. So in the end, I just gave him a list of examples when he picked one. I mean, you have to pick Dino Stuff. Which then means you have to change his Brock moves if you wanted to use Magma Blaster. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Some people enter these tournaments. You know, a lot of people enter these tournaments. You know, they don't really know what they're doing. You know, it is what it is. Oh my god, look at that. A pitiful amount of damage done there from the Firebomb. Showing up Ampelosaurus's tight matchup advantage ship. Well, another firebomb coming from the Gosman. It'd be some start from Gozzy if he could secure a bonus point win, but this Ampelosaurus is not to be trifled with. Oh, there's. Oh, nope, there's Dino Stuffer stopping that crit from the Ampelosaurus. Oh, the Acro gets another hit off, and this won't be affected by the type advantage. There's the poison. A bonus point win looks likely now for Gozzy. Oh, that's a tie. There's the poison again. Ooh, Ampelosaurus is not dead and buried yet. Getting off an atomic bomb. Boosh. 
Ooh, what's this? It's a shockwave. You know what that means. Next round, let's, depending on what move is gone. Okay, so Ampelosaurus will be going paper. Well, if Gozzy can get paper here, he will win this matchup. Oh, and he doesn't. Ampelosaurus gets off another hit. There's another atomic bomb. But no shockwave this time. Okay, that tie will finish off the Ampelosaurus. So despite a little bit of a fight back from the Ampelosaurus, Galpy Gozzi will be taking a bonus point win. A fantastic start there from the Gozman. As for as for um, Gypsy Danger, uh, didn't quite happen for it. Didn't quite happen for him. But, you know, they'll have their chances in this group because it is quite an open group. So still ought to play for. But, yeah. That's match two, on to our final matchup of this video, which sees the champions team going up against the Thunderstorm. Alright then, in the red corner for the champions team, we have the Sejuangosaurus, the champion, the unexpected champion of the Wicked Win Tournament. And yes, I decided to use Spectre as the character because nobody actually used Spectre, so yeah. There he is. Here's our funny green toad gay man. All right, in the blue corner, four, and um, what's this guy's blue name? I forget. <laughs> so many competitors, I forget. Anyway, we have a Pentaceratops. Ah, the Thunderstorm, that's right. And this guy was Monolof OG before, so... And if you remember, Monolof OG made it all the way to the final of one of my tournaments, so... Be It'll be intriguing to see how well they do this time around. Champions team, the only bot team in this tournament, so they didn't have room for anyone else. But Sejuangosaur is getting off the opening hit there. Ooh, but the Pentaceratops striking back. Dino Illusion getting triggered. Dino Illusion was a big reason the Sejuangosaur won the Wicked Wind tournament. And it could be a big reason if the champions team do well in this tournament. Ooh, Pentaceratops getting off a crit there. A good start from the Thunderstorm. Definitely bringing that storm. And there's the attack burst as well. Ooh, but the Sejuangosaurus gets the crit back. Not that much damage dealt, but there's the Cyclone. The champion's team. You know, Sejuangosaurus is not in the best of shape so far. Ooh, but it does get off another hit. It is a Lillian Cure as well. Not that it'll really... Oh, it healed it up. Not too much. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, another hit from Sejuangosaurus, and it's getting his HP back up. Despite the good start from the um, Thunderstorm, the champion's team have turned it around, and Sejuangosaurus reminding us all how they, why he won the Wicked Wind Tournament. Ooh, the Pentaceratops finally getting a hit. And look at that damage. But Dino Illusion has been triggered. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's Lightning Axe! What a crucial Lightning Axe that could be! Stopping, putting a stop to Sejuangosaurus and his Dino Illusion nonsense. Alrighty then, as for the Champions Team's second Dino, we have Armatus. As Fool's Cat points out there, zuddy 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 Armatus, the winner of the recent Earthshakers tournament, back at it again and hoping to do well for the Champions Team in this tournament. Yes, yes, we know Rex is creeped out by Spectre. Let's get on with the match. Oh, that tie will, well, will 100% finish off Pentaceratops, but yes, an even match so far. So it could all come down to these next couple of moves. Alright, as for the Thunderstorm second, I know we have the Mega Raptor. Another Mega Raptor in this tournament, but look how much power that crit has. Definitely the more lethal type. 
this Mega Raptor could definitely spell an early departure for the Armatus. Ooh, what is this? This is a power drain, I believe. Yep, here comes a power drain. Button spamming time. Wow, I've never seen Mega Raptor use power drain before. I like that his arms are just frozen when it does that. <laughs> Mayfly getting triggered there. Ooh, but Armatus getting off the head. It's a triple headbutt. So you know what that means? The kneecaps of the Mega Raptor, well, the ankles by the looks of it, are about to get shattered. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you would think the Mega Raptor could literally lower that claw and just puncture the Stegoceros' skull and kill it. But nope. Dinosaur King doesn't work that way. Ooh, both of our combatants went for crits there. Neither one got it off. Oh, another type. Wow, this is an even match, isn't it? Ooh, Mega Raptor again, a crucial hit and a tiebreaker. Ties will favour the Mega Raptor now. Speaking of ties, yeah, there's the tiebreaker. Oh, well, this is kind of wasted, to be honest, but here's a Mayfly, which will all but certainly kill the Armatus and give the Thunderstorm a 2-1 lead. I just feel like the Thunderstorm has just slightly turned the screw on this matchup. Oh, and he does have a tight type match, type match advantage here. As the champion's team's Parasaurolophus comes in. Champion of the gracious grass tournament, this para. Quite resilient as well, which enabled it to win that tournament. And I suspect the champion's team will need it to show some resilience again. But it's got to get past this Mega Raptor first. Ooh, a hit coming from the para, and a defense burst as well, which definitely will help. Well, it helped it win the Gracious Grass Tournament, didn't it? Oh, that's a tie. The tiebreaker has gone, though, so the ties no longer favor the Mega Raptor. Well, it kind of does, because, you know, the Thunderstorm does have the lead, so... Oh, look at that sliver of health left of the Mega Raptor. Oh, how big could that be? How oh, big could that be a crit from the Mega Raptor? Oh, that could be a big moment of this match. It's pretty much guaranteed the Thunderstorm points this matchup. Unless this light recovery heals up the power over half, which I don't think it will. Another defense burst there. No, I didn't think that it would. Ooh, now, instead of having the tight advantage, all of a sudden the Thunderstorm will have the tight disadvantage with this Nodosaurus. So it's still anyone's game. And the Parasaurolophus should still be maxed up from the defense boosts it received, so it will, despite being below half health, it will still be tough to take down. Oh, is it Ty? I think Ty's will suit the Nodosaurus, to be honest. Yeah, Ty's definitely help the Nodosaurus more. Ooh, and that will help Nodosaurus. A hit incoming. But yeah, look at that, that's a defense boost. Oh, and Nodosaurus has defense boost, which will definitely help it. And yet, yeah, I think that is going to be curtains for the champions team. Nodosaurus. Oh my god, it's not! Oh, hang on, it might be. Oh, yeah, it is. The <laughs> Giga Rock Hammer coming in to make sure. Oh my god, that, that, ju that, that just shows the resilience of the power. Like, that was a crit from Nodosaurus. I know Nodosaurus has one of the weakest crits out of the Earth dinosaurs, but wow. I can't believe it failed to kill the para. The para had a sliver of health. The defense type, the type advantage, the defense bursts. Wow. I mean, the Giga Rock Hammer was needed 
which I didn't think it would be, but, you know, there we go. A good win there from the Thunderstorm. However, since Nodasaurus's HP was not below half, the Champions team will be going away empty-handed, I'm afraid. So, yep, that's, that concludes round one for Group D. So let's have a look at our table and end the session. Well, Group D shaping up to be a competitive one, isn't it? We have LP Gozzi up top with our bonus point win over Gypsy Danger there. Ultima Dino Queen and the Thunderstorm on three points after getting opening round wins. The Gecko getting that crucial losing bonus point against Ultima Dino Queen there to get fourth place. And then Gypsy Danger and Champion Team bringing up the rear in fifth and sixth. So yeah, Group D definitely heating up a bit. So yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Actually, let's see who's playing in round two for Group B. We will see Gypsy Danger. Oh, this will be a big game. Big game at the bottom. This could be Gypsy Danger going up against the Champions team. Ultima Dino Queen taking on Thunderstorm. And then Alpi Gozzi going up against Gecko. Oh, that, that could be a good opportunity there for Gozzi to open up a lead at the top. But we'll just have to see how those matches play out when they happen. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament matches. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.